Hey everybody, welcome back to Anthony's Horror and More. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about some Scream Factory titles I recently picked up. Um, if you don't mind, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, I'd appreciate it, and let's get into it. So first up, we got Cherry Falls. I just saw this for the first time. Um, you know, if you love 90s slasher movies, early 2000s slasher movies, you're gonna love this. So if you, you know, if you're a Scream fan, if you like, I know what you did last summer, Urban Legend, Valentine, all those type of movies, you're going to really dig Cherry Falls. Um, you know, the premise is there's a killer going around killing virgins. <laughs> so, you know, you got all these high school students, a lot of them are still virgins, and, uh, you know, the, uh, the antagonist is going around slicing them up, you know. Uh, you know, their weapon of choice, you know, is uh, a variety of uh, knives, you know, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, there's, um, you know, you got Brittany Murphy, Michael Bean, Gabrielle Mann, Jay Moore. So you got a really solid cast, rest in peace, Brittany Murphy. Um, and, you know, Mike, you know, Michael Bean from Terminator, I mean, come on, you know, and it's just, you know, there's some good kills in there, some blood, all that stuff. Uh, this did happen around the Columbine, you know, tragedy. So I think some of the gore was cut back a bit because of that, you know, that happened to a lot of films around that time, but still really good, solid movie, great performances. Um, you know, when the killer or killers, you know, I don't want to spoil anything when it's revealed who they are. Um, I thought it was really well done. I was just blown away. I, mean, I wasn't blown away. I actually, <laughs> I actually did figure out who it was pretty early, but, um, I was blown away by their performance or performances, you know, like, uh, that's what I was blown away by. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Cherry Falls. High recommendation, especially if you love, uh, slasher films. All right. Next up we got Cat People. Oh, and by the way. Uh, Blu-ray, um, and I thought this was a really good transfer. This looked great on this Blu-ray, so definitely highly recommend that. Um, yeah. Yeah, and you got a good amount of, uh, special features on there, too. Yeah, might be hard to see them, but, yeah, you got a good amount of special features on there. Um, including interviews, um, interviews with... Ken Selden, actress Amanda Anka, producer uh, Marshall Persinger, uh, vintage interviews with Brittany Murphy, Michael Bean, Jay Moore, and director Jeffrey Wright. Like, that's really cool. Um, you know, because sadly, Brittany Murphy's passed away now, but, but, you know, then you get an interview with the director, Michael Bean, I mean, Jay Moore, that's pretty badass. Like, I don't know, those are some good special features on there. All right, next up, we got Cat People. And uh, just so you know, too, I got to keep going back to Cherry Falls. I recently picked this up. It was on sale for eleven ninety nine on Amazon. Uh, now, that's as of filming this. I don't know if it's still going on. But for eleven ninety nine, you know, that's easy pickup for me. And it doesn't come with a slipcover, in case you were wondering. It's not a collector's edition, so it, it doesn't come with one. But, you know, it's still definitely a great pickup at $11.99. Um, next up, we got Cat People. I got this one for $21.99, also on sale. Um, uh, this has an amazing 4K transfer. I, I thought it was great. There's not, like, any grain in it. I don't know if there's grain. You know, I'm sure there was a lot of grain in the original, you know, uh, DVD copy or whatever copy it had before, you know, obviously VHS, and, you know, but on, on this one here, there was like no grain. It was very smooth, clean looking. This film was shot in 1982, so it looks like it was shot yesterday. Um, and uh, yeah, it's basically, it's just about this lady who finds out she has a brother. She goes out there to meet him for the first time. And then, um, you know, you know, there are these killings going around with this, uh, black leopard um and you know uh they end up throwing the black leopard in you know in a zoo where um uh this lady's love you know where she meets like her love interest of the story this guy who runs the zoo you know he's like the zookeeper or whatever and um it's kind of like um 
it's horror, but it's kind of like romance, drama, horror, and it goes into some really weird, oddball places. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a slow burn, just so you know. Um, but I, I liked it. I thought it was good. You know, nothing crazy, you know, like I didn't love it or anything, but I thought it was solid enough. It does have um, some nice reversible artwork there. And, you know, you get some, uh, this is a very sexy movie, too. So, you get, you know, you see her naked. Annette O'Toole is in this. You see her naked. I mean, it's a very, it's one of, like, sex is kind of a part of the film. You know, you'll see when you watch it. I don't want to spoil it. But, um, you know, you got Malcolm McDowell is in here. Um, you know, and you, you they're, the dad from uh, Home Alone is in this. Home Alone, Home Alone 2, he's in this as well. Uh, John Hurd, that's his name. Yeah, so you got Annette O'Toole, John Hurd, Malcolm McDowell, and Natasha Kinski is uh, the lead right there. And, um, yeah, you know, you get some decent gore, you know, some uh, some cool transformation effects, stuff like that. I think it's worth the watch. Uh, it kind of, in some ways, reminds me of An American Werewolf in London. You know, the fact that it's kind of like a romance, drama, horror, you know. Um, not so much a comedy though, whereas, you know, an American Werewolf from London had the comedy, but, and this goes, like I said, this goes into some weird places too, but, um, yeah, I think it's worth checking out, you know, really great transfer, you know, that's, that was the thing that blew me away, but I was like, God, this looks like so good. Um, and it was the original, uh, camera negative too, new 4K scan from the original camera negative, you know, and you got some good special features on there too. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Cat people, check it out. Next up, we got Piranha. I picked this one up for $24.99. Uh, you know, I thought that was a great deal. I used to watch this when it was on the Sci-Fi Channel, you know, on basic cable when I was younger. I probably rented it as well from Blockbuster, but I don't... I, think, I feel like I saw this for the first time on the Sci-Fi Channel. Got some nice reversible artwork on there, which is always cool. Um, yeah, just a fun, you know, just like exactly what you think the movie is, you know. They, you know, um, you know, there's killer piranha out there that have been like genetically altered to be, you know, they're bigger, they're meaner, they're faster, you know, and they they get out and they just start eating people and killing people. And I, I would say, I think the two leads in this film, you got Bradford Dillman playing Paul Grogan. You got Heather menzies Urich playing Maggie Mc, McCowan. McCone. Um, and I think they have a good relationship with each other. They have like good back and forth. I think Maggie is really cute um, in, the, in the movie. And I think Paul does a good job kind of playing that like, Kind of like, you know, typical, I don't know, he's kind of like, you're like, you know, drunk, um, be, you know, doing, you know, doing what he's got to do, but like begrudgingly, you know, he doesn't really want to, but he knows it's the right thing to do and he's always drinking and stuff. So it's a, it's a fun back and forth between the two leads and you got some good gore with, uh, the, you know, the fish, just, you know, the piranha, just eating people, eating their limbs and, you know, uh, so you got some good gore effects, you know, you got one guy that, well, I don't want to spoil it, but you know, you get to see like people's like legs ripped off and eaten off and people's arms and faces getting munched on and stuff. So it's definitely got some, uh, some good gore and so there's, there's some funny moments in it too. It's definitely got some comedy to it. Um, I think it's funny though. Cause like some people in the movie, the normal people like, you know, like you and I, and so we call it piranha, but they're like, they say it like piranha or pr they say it in like a like a different way it's like piranha but they pronounce it per piranha 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 or something i don't know it's funny the way they say it. like you'll know the scientists say it a different way you know and that's probably the correct pronunciation but you know most people just say piranha but they're saying it a little bit fancier you know uh piranha piranha uh, per piranha or something like that. It's funny the way they say it. But um, good transfer. This is another good 4K transfer. Really solid. Especially this film was 1978, I believe. Um, yeah, 1978. I mean, yeah, this looks really good for them. For that, you know, especially like, yeah, for that time. And there's, you know, there's some grain in this and everything. They left some of the grain there. But they, they definitely cleaned it up a lot. I mean, it looks... Um, 
And I'm glad they left some of the grain because you need that for the, especially for the like '70s films and stuff too. You know, yeah, yeah, keep a little bit of the grain and stuff in there, but um, it still looks great. I mean, it looks, it definitely looks really cleaned up. They leave just enough grain in there to make you know people happy, but it, it looks really good. Yeah, solid release, fun movie, definitely check it out. And then last but certainly not least, we got Dawn of the Dead. This was twenty nine ninety nine. Just yeah, it just came out a week ago, so it was you know full price. Um, Dawn of the Dead, no reversible artwork, sadly. But yeah, this is Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead remake. Um, James Gunn did the screenplay for this. Uh, just s an excellent movie. Uh, you know, I I love this film. Um, I prefer the Dawn of the Dead remake to the original. I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, I think the zombies look way better. The original zombies in uh, Dawn of the, you know, in George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead look really silly. It's just purple makeup. Um, it's kind of a slower pace, which isn't a bad thing. I, I like a good slow burn, but Dawn of the Dead, man, it just goes. You know, it starts and then it's just do, 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 like it. There, you never have a moment to catch your breath. It's just fun action, horror, gore good practical effects the zombies look great um all the characters are excellent they're all good but ving rames man oh my god what a fucking powerhouse like he's just such a badass in this movie uh sarah polly i think is really good in this you know she's like the nurse but that she's got some like badass moments too um mckay pfeiffer oh man that scene you know with the baby and all that stuff you all know what i'm talking about i won't spoil it but you all know what I'm talking about. like you got that's you know going on that whole scene's great um it's just i don't know people the only thing people talk about sometimes is like some of the cgi is a bit outdated like the helicopters flying by and stuff but who gives a fuck and that's such a minor like nitpick there's a couple decisions in the film that are made by characters that are kind of silly too like they're they're just dumb fucking decisions like just, like just a couple um but you know for the most part i i, I think they I think they do what most normal people would do. And there are dumbass people that would make stupid decisions. So like, even that's believable. But um, yeah, yeah, any complaints I have are really just nitpicks. So, like there's a couple stupid ass decisions that get made. Some dated CGI, but it's like nothing that's going to really take you out of it that much. Um, Ty Burrell in this film is so fucking hilarious. I love him in this movie. He's such a douchebag. You know, he's so, you're so used to seeing him as, like, just a nice, normal, like, kind of dad, like, nice guy. And in this movie, he is the biggest douchebag ever. And I love it. <laughs> he's just such a dick. Uh, you got uh, Jake Weber in this. You got a bunch of actors that you're just like, oh, I know that guy from this. I know that guy from that. Um, like, uh, Michael Kelly, um, you'll know from, uh, he's in The Walking Dead. He plays, like, Negan's right-hand man, um... Just a lot of actors you'll see and you'll be like, oh, I know that guy, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but just a, a really fun movie. Fast paced, lots of gore, lots of action. You get the um, you get the 4K unrated cut, you get the Blu-ray unrated, and you get the Blu-ray theatrical cut. So, you know, you get all the cuts of the movie, which is nice. You know, you get some... Uh, some good special features on there there's all the special features right there you can't it's hard to make out but you know you can go look them up on scream factory's site but you know you get a new 4k scan for, uh from the original camera or i'm sorry new 4k scan from the original negative with unrated inserts from the 2k digital intermediate um audio commentary was Zack snyder and eric newman introduction to the director's cut was Zack snyder um uh, Undead and Loving It, a mockumentary, uh, you know, and that's just some of the special features. There's a whole bunch on here, so solid. You know, the the transfer I thought looked good. I wouldn't say it blew me away. I thought it looked great in certain places. That it, you know, it was definitely better than the Blu-ray. But then there are other times where it's just uh, 
you know, just as good as, like, just, okay, you know, like, Blu-ray quality a little bit better than that, but, like, but then there are other scenes where it's like, oh, okay, now you really see that 4K and everything kind of shine, you know, so it was, it was, it was a good transfer, but I'll be honest, like, I think, I thought Cat People, that transfer blew me away, I thought Cat People had a great transfer, I thought Piranha had a great transfer, I think this just has a solid transfer, it's good, but it's not, like, mind-blowing, but it's, I still think, you know, it's worth the pickup. The 4K is good enough. It's worth the upgrade. You get all the cuts. Um, and you get some great special features. So I'd say pick it up. If you want to wait like a few weeks, maybe it goes down a little bit more. Maybe you can pick it up for like $24.99 or something. Yeah, go for it. You know, you can probably wait. Um, but definitely get it at some point. Cause I, uh, you know, it's just such a great movie. You want to own the best version possible. So and that's it guys uh you know i just wanted to kind of share those with you guys make you you know aware of you know their scream factory does at this time as of you know right now me recording this they've got some decent deals so go check out amazon um yeah because you know get, like pretty much all like their 4ks their blu-ray like a lot of their stuff is uh, on sale so check it out if not if you missed it don't worry, I'm sure in another, you know, couple months or so, they'll probably do it again, you know, or something. So, you just always got to be on the lookout. Check out Blu-ray.com, you know, check there um, a couple times a week, you know. Uh, and just, you know, check out Scream Factory site, because sometimes they'll randomly have a sale. It's rare, but, you know, they had that Shocktober sale. I got, I picked up a lot of stuff for that. Um, yeah, so you just got to be, you know, constantly looking out for stuff. I, I'm always looking for deals, you know. I try not to buy things for full value because they're expensive, you know. So I do, you know, if it's not something that I need right away, I'll wait for it to go on sale. Um, like most of these I got on sale, all of them except for Dawn of the Dead. Um, so, yeah, so anyway, guys, that's it. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these movies. Let me know what some of your... Uh, favorite scream factory releases are like some of the you know so what transfers you think are great you know that just kind of blew your mind um you know whatever you want to leave down there you know so you know what do you guys think of dawn of the dead remake is it better than the original you know is that blasphemous to say uh let me know down below and uh this is anthony's horror more i'll catch you on the next one peace out